Together again, gathered here to uh, witness the students' talent and the teacher's pride. Today we will witness entertainment, plus maybe knowledge, and of course, today we will all be proud of CMI because we will see how hard the students work. Not only the students, of course, all the teachers and our managers who are in the back. Let's give Ma'am Lewis and Manager Deborah a round of applause, please. Um, last month, two months ago, we had our last presentation. In And um, last, at the beginning of November, Teacher Riza, Manager Deborah, and our beloved head teacher, Ma'am Lewis, requested us to bring back the presentation so people could see how good our students are and how hard they work. And so today, you will get to see that. But before anything else, I would like to thank already all the teachers who are here, especially Teacher Karen who is the head of the TESOL curriculum. Let's give her a round of applause, please. <laughs> teacher Liv, Teacher Fem, and Teacher Jude. Round of applause, please. And in ESL, Teacher Mark, uh, Teacher Nico, and who else? Who am I missing? Ah, of course, uh, Teacher Riza. And Teacher Donna. Teacher Donna's hiding there. Please let's give her a round of applause. Well, without further ado, I will give the microphone to Teacher Mark, who will be our MC for today. Let's give him also a round of applause. Ah, ah, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Of course, this school will not work without the IELTS teachers, headed by Teacher Riza, Teacher Michelle, Teacher Dawn. Teacher Ever, let's clap our hands. And Teacher Love, my favorite teacher, and Teacher Warren. Uh, yes, yes, and our beautiful teacher over there taking pictures, Teacher Amber. Thank you, Teacher Richie. So we will not keep you waiting anymore. We will start already with our program. Our first presenter, a dance number. Ah, <laughs> uh, no chat, no chat. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so excited. First. For our first presenter from the ESL department, Peter. Peter, my Okay, ladies and gentlemen, oh, good boys. <laughs> I can do it. Um, welcome to here for um, attending for our fantastic <coughs> presentation show. I think today is, uh, today is the day for us. Okay, so we. Uh, we enjoy today, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm really happy to have a chance to talk to do my presentation in front of you. Okay, so topic uh, I present, present today is the Noah's Ark uh, existence. Okay, my name is uh, Peter. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Confusion with me. <laughs> okay, my name is Peter. After coming here, I got <laughs> many nicknames. Uh, Peter Pan, uh, <laughs> Peter Parker, and Peter Patriller. Especially Toko Chung guy. <laughs> except except uh, handsome guy. I really, really want to hear from you. <laughs> so me. Anyway, um, thank you for concern about me. Okay, briefly, let me introduce my family and my job. Here is my uh, first song, the name Sobha, English name is uh, Sanctification. Uh, second, uh, second song is Yonghwa, Kim Yonghwa, uh, his name 
and English name is glorification. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you agree? <laughs> okay, this time I show you the most beautiful woman in the world, I think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She is my sweetie. <laughs> yeah, wow. Looks very beautiful, I think so. Jumo! <laughs> It's cute and pretty. This is my family, this is my family. And uh, he is my uh, elder brother, and his wife, and his son. This is my uh, most precious thing in my life. Okay. Um, my job, my job is uh, step uh, for serving to youth in church and mission groups. These days, many students uh, are, are wondering about um, uh, they don't find the purpose of their life. So I think uh, the reason I really existed is just for them. Uh, last year, summer vacation, we went to the very poor country, you know, Mongolia. Uh, we went there, we performed uh, the uh, fantastic on uh, show, and we showed the Korean, Korean traditional uh, uh, dance and gave them many gifts and deliver a good news. Uh, especially for the sick people, we serve the food message. And uh, finally, we climbed the back to mountain and pray for the unification between North and South Korea. Uh, through this vision trip, uh, many students changed their life, I think. So my job makes me always happy and meaningful. Okay, so, my, so I think my calling is to help the youth to know how to live. Second, I like to study. And third, live for what? This is my calling from God, I think. Okay, anyway, I have one desire that I not only speak English fluently, but also I deliver a message in English every, every, uh, where and any time. So, but it was a daydream to me because I have poor English. So I made a great decision to come here to accomplish my vision. Okay. Vision uh, in spite of spending 10 million won. <laughs> so anyway, uh, uh, anyway, today is my first day uh, that I deliver a message in English. So if there are anyone who feel uncomfortable for my message, <laughs> please have a generous mind in view of my job and desire. Okay. Uh, you are waiting for, for a long time. Let's move to the body. Okay. Have you ever seen the movie Eva Almighty? Yes. yes. Uh, it has a very funny story. But this story is uh, based on the Bible story, especially Noah's Ark. So many people already have heard of Noah's Ark, and some people have many uh, curiosity about this story. Okay, I have a question to you. Uh, do you believe in God? No. If you <laughs> believe, please raise your right hand. Wow. Right hand. Push it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, so many people believe, believe in God. Okay, I have a question to them. Um, how many people now uh, arrived uh, at the Noah's uh, flood? Uh, is there anyone to ask, answer me? Hey. <laughs> answer me. Uh, manager Bob, tell me. Yeah. You are a good Christian, right? What? Yeah. How many people are survived at the Noah's blood? Noah's blood? Yeah. Five? Oops. <laughs> ah. I push your right? Eight. And okay, eight. Wow. Thank <laughs> for him. Okay. Very good. Answer is eight. This is a very important uh, number in my today's presentation. Remember this, please. Um, uh, let me explain the background of the North Ark this time to understand this, uh, this presentation. There was a judgment of the God uh, in the world at the Noah's age. The God made uh, Noah's blood um, uh, uh, covering all over the world uh, at the Noah's age uh, because of uh, human sins. And then um, every creature uh, died at the time. 
except Noah's family and a uh, pair of every kind of animals. Then the Noah's Ark came to uh, rest on the mountain error about 4,300 years ago. Can you believe this? Is it very difficult to believe this because uh, the Bible uh, is a very old book written about 3,500 years ago. In spite of this, uh, the Bible, the very old book, can you believe the existence of mountain error? Uh, surprisingly, we can find the mountain error at this present. Look at this picture. This is the mountain error. Um, uh, it, it is located on the east of Turkey and here is the height of 5,120 meters. Uh, to some, our surprise, dwellers near this mountain uh, has called this mountain like this uh, in Persia, mountain of Noor. Uh, in Turkey, mountain of the Ark, mountain of pain and include people, mountain of evil. Um, in America, the mother of the world. So many people call this mountain based on the Bible story. Okay, there are many witnesses, uh, over 200 people, they saw the ark. But we have no time to check everything. So I will show you some examples to you. First example is Marco Polo. Uh, he is a very famous uh, explorer. Okay, okay. <laughs> no sign, please. <laughs> Explorer, um, he wrote uh, uh, the Ark on his book, Bongbang Gyeongmunno. And second evidence is uh, uh, there was a strong earthquake in this area. So government <coughs> sent many helpers uh, to protect uh, uh, the, from landslide. At the time, uh, the helpers found, they found uh, um, the Noah's Ark having um, many stables and brief cages. Uh, after this event, Noah's Ark became famous widely. Okay, third, um, George Hagopian, he's a very important guy uh, in Noah's Ark. He is a farmer and Armenian. He sent to here with his uncle and he saw the Ark. Okay, an um, emperor in Russia. He was a, he was a Christian, so he really wanted to know whether the Noah's Ark exists or not. So he sent his troop, about two companies there, and his, his troops found the Noah's Ark. <laughs> Lastly, okay. when on the Second World War happened, many pilots witnessed the Noah's Ark. Okay, this picture is a Noah's sketch uh, by George Hagopian. George Hagopian drew this picture with the uh, help of one painter. Also, he was investigated by the lie detector in American documentary show about the Noah's story. But amazingly, uh, the lie detector proved he is true. And finally, the cel uh, satellite picture. This is satellite picture. And because there are many uh, witnesses, they saw the Noah's Ark. So I believe there is a Noah's Ark at this present. Okay, let's move another uh, evidence. Two is proof of the Noah's flood. Okay, I have a question to you again. How long did the Noah's flood cover the earth? 40 days or 40 uh, This is a very difficult uh, uh, question, I think. So I'll ask uh, people about the specialist thing, about the Bible. Uh, manager? Daniel? Is there? No? Yeah, Major Deborah, answer me please. If you don't know, <laughs> you'll be shame proof. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, how long? Stand up please. Yeah? 40 days. Oops, uh, you disappoint me. <laughs> hey, Donna, Donna, my teacher, my hope. Yeah. Uh, one year. Yeah, good. Clapping for her, yeah. So yes, it's about one year. Okay, supposing that the flood uh, uh, covering all of the world for one year, what happened to the Earth? To understand this better, we have to have more scientific knowledge. Okay, I'll explain this. Um, the sun and the moon pull this water, covering all of the world. Understand? And second, 
Because of Sao and um, lunar gravitation. Uh, and, uh, okay, sorry. Uh, this water um, came to circulate. Uh, sorry. The Earth rotated once a year, once a day. Uh, so, this uh, uh, water came to circulate around the world uh, rapidly. Uh, as a result, uh, this water uh, came to cut the high mountain. Uh, and uh, the debris like stones, sand, and soils accumulated in low area. Is there a proof? Yes, surely we can easily find uh, the sediment layer uh, in this area around it. The most uh, clear evidence is the Grand Canyon, uh, uh, similar to South Korean size. The enormous uh, amount of sediment accumulated there. This evidence is uh, the supported. This evidence supported the existence of Noah's Ark. Okay, let's move another um, evidence. Third, third evidence is Noah's Ark in the Bible. Uh, the Bible wrote about the size um, of the Noah's Ark. Uh, Noah's Ark is longer than a soccer field. Very long, very long size. And uh, concretely, Genesis chapter six, verse. Uh, 15 said uh, uh, 300 cubit long and 50 cubit wide and 30 cubit high. In Arab, uh, one cubit means the size from uh, end of finger to elbow. Understand? If so, if we can calculate in terms of meters, uh, this result can can to be like this, uh, over 100 meter. Understand? But we have the common sense about the ship. We never believe this. Why? Because uh, the, this is why the first time human made it, the over 100 meter ship was just 130 years ago. But the first ship over 100 meter human made it was Great Britain. But it was made about 130 years ago. But North Ark made of, uh, was made about 4,300 years ago. Wow, amazing uh, result. Okay, why couldn't people make the ship over 100 meters? Uh, this is because of a strong and rough wave in the sea. Understand? But finally, scientists came to know the safest rate of the ship about 130 years ago. So, well, and uh, Noah's Ark and Great Britain have the same rate about long and wide and long and high rate. Same rate. Very miraculous uh, sign. Okay. So our nation, Korea, ranked number one in the world in, uh, making, about making the ship. So we have uh, many excellent laboratories. Uh, so, so one laboratory in Daejeon uh, made an experiment about how safe <coughs> North Ark was uh, in 1992. But this result is very surprising. Yeah. North Ark is safe for the height of a wave over 30 meters. North Ark has a very strong uh, design. Uh, understand? Okay. This result was broadcast on uh, KBS 9 News and many newspapers. Okay, even though the Bible was a very old book, written 3,500 uh, 3, uh, 3, years ago, this result became the strong evidence supporting that Noah's Ark actually existed. So I believe the existence of Noah's Ark. Okay, uh, like, uh, next evidence is the descendants of Noah. Okay, after the Noah's flood, Noah's descendants scattered all nations. And if the flood is true, um, Noah's descendants made some marks related to the Noah's Ark in their nations. We can find the marks. Let's check it. Okay, mm, this character is a Chinese character. It means uh, ship. And it contains a uh, boat and eight people and door and mouth. It means uh, eight people entered the door of the boat. Understand? Understand? This story exactly is in accord with the Noah's story. And another, another character, it, it means flooding. It contains uh, water and together. But in together, there is uh, eight people. Why did they put the number eight people 
in their own letter. Uh, strangely, um, uh, um, most uh, Chinese, Chinese uh, letter related to the water have the eight. And there are many kinds of Chinese character related to the Bible story, but we have no time to check this. So let's move to another country. In Russia, same nya means family. Understand? But uh, the original meaning of this uh, word, uh, seven plus iron, make you eight. Why? Why did the, did the ancestors make family eight? We don't know the region, everywhere, anywhere. But we can understand it. this about the Noah's story. Okay, last evidence is um, the Indian, American Indian, uh, remained remarkable pictures uh, containing five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. I, I explained this in a bit. First, in first piece, uh, people and animals live peacefully. In the second piece, there was a flood. Wow. This is very important. The third picture, um, there was an ark on the, um, on the sea. And uh, look at this picture. Uh, there is uh, something uh, special. Okay, let's pull. One, two, three, four. And with ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It means uh, 40. 40. Okay, understand? It means the time the flood lasted is 40 days. This story is a lost story. In fourth piece, um, uh, many uh, people, uh, many uh, animals getting off uh, the ark. Last piece is uh, there was a rainbow. Okay. This content uh, exactly is the same story with the Noah story. And how did the American Indian leave the message in the Noah story? We can find the region anywhere, but except the Noah Bible story. Understand? Let's the finally final evidence. Okay, the human age according to the Bible. Uh, this number means a lifespan, and next number is uh, age. They have uh, a baby, baby. <laughs> Strangely, in Bible, before the flood, flood before the flood, uh, most people's age were over 900 years. Even in case of Noah, he had a baby when he, he was 502 years old. Can, can you believe this? This is very ir, ir, um, uh, strange. We can believe this. But <laughs> uh, going deep into the story of the Bible, we came to be surprised with its scientific truth. Let's check this. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, Genesis chapter 1, verb 8. Uh, I want to uh, read these together. Okay, let's begin. God made this space to separate the water of the earth from the waters of the heavens. In the beginning, God made uh, the water layer in the sky and in the earth. But uh, the water layer uh, disappeared at the Noah's flood. Um, do you happen to know the most important reason why our lifespan uh, is below uh, 120 years. Why? Uh, is there anyone to answer this? Soft. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you answer this? You don't want? Okay. Uh, I, I tell you the answer. Uh, scientists said the reason uh, this is uh, because of the radiation from the uh, universe. There are two kinds of radiations, uh, bad things and good things. Okay, uh, the microwaves and far infrared rays and video rays are good things in our health. But uh, uh, ultraviolet rays and X-rays, gamma rays are bad things for our health. If we expose to the bad things, bad things, we must die faster. Mm -hmm. Understand? But uh, the Bible says. Uh, before the flood, before the Noah's flood, there was the layer, there was the water layer in the sky. Understand? So, um, because of this uh, layer, um, uh, this layer blocked bad radiation from the universe. So, uh, these people and animals uh, live long like this Asian. Do you understand? Yeah. 
Okay, is there a proof? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, many passes can be evidences. Look at this picture. This is the, uh, what? What call this? Uh? Dragonfly. Yeah, dra dragonfly. This is dragonfly. These days, uh, dragonfly has a small size. But before the flooding, they lived in good condition. Understand? So they have a large, big size, like uh, similar to uh, human size. And before the flooding, most insects have a, a, a big size like this. Cockroach, uh, understand? <laughs> like human size. Because of the good condition. As you, as you know, uh, the dinosaur has an enormous size. Wow. If we can catch one dinosaur, we can live for a long time without concern the food. Because, of, <laughs> because they can because of the uh, good condition, they raised a uh, big size. Okay, finally, last thing. Let's think of Siberia, 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 understand? Uh, this area uh, is very cold these days. But um, if uh, there is the, uh, before the uh, flood, before the flood, uh, the water, uh, the water, uh, sorry, the water layer in the sky, because of the world sky, this area was very warm. Is there evidence? Yeah, each evidence is uh, uh, mammoths. Mammoths have uh, tropical plants in their stomach. How do they have the tropical plants in, in, this, uh, uh, in their stomach? We can explain this, but we can understand it, the region because of their water layer in the sky related, related to the Bible story. Okay, time to finish it. <laughs> um, I'll make a um, conclusion. Okay, uh, so far uh, I'll show you many evidences uh, about the existence of the Noah story. Because of many evidences, it is uh, absolutely possible that there is a Noah's Ark. And uh, believe it or not, if there is a Noah's Ark, the Bible comes to be the truth and God is really alive. Finally, <laughs> as I am a Christian, I certainly believe in God, and I really wish you this information helps you. Thank you. <laughs> if you are a Christian, I really willing to answer this as a pastor as I can. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> um, do you have, if you, you have no question, uh, I I'd like to thank you for listening for my presentation. And I really hope that you got many uh, good information uh, to my topic. And also I really appreciate my ESL teachers um, because of teaching me <laughs> with the all heart this month. And, uh, <laughs> and I think ESL course is the best course to improve our English. Thank you.